watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. We're going to begin tonight with a jailhouse interview on the eve of the sentencing, the Cipriano murder case. Only on 7, Mitchell Young talking for the first time from behind bars. Tomorrow, he and Tucker Cipriano will be sentenced to life in prison. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is in Pontiac, where the two are being held tonight. It was a crime that devastated a family, that shocked and saddened a community, and now two young men are going to prison for life. Their sentencing is tomorrow. Tonight, Mitchell Young tells us by phone he'll be reading a long statement in court tomorrow. That's, that's the thing. I can't really openly talk about specifics of what occurred that night. Mitchell Young will be sentenced to life in prison tomorrow with no chance for parole. And tonight, this young man who was found guilty after just 90 minutes of deliberation is talking. Here's what he has to say in his first ever interview on the phone from the jail about the murder of Bob Cipriano and the near-fatal beating of Rose and Sal Cipriano. It was a baseball bat beating the police and prosecutors say was committed by Young and the Cipriano's son, Tucker, who has pleaded no contest to first-degree murder and will also be sentenced to life without parole. I never had the intent to hurt anyone. I didn't go there intending to harm anyone, let alone to kill someone. That's just, that, that, that's a terrible thing. They're saying that I did this to people that I've never met that I had absolutely nothing against, at a place that I've never been to, with someone that I've been the acquaintance of for about three weeks, a little less than a month. Taking no responsibility, claiming poor representation, Young maintains he was a victim, even though forensic evidence in court showed blood spattering on Young's pants, which the assistant prosecutor said showed that Young was standing over Robert Cipriano as he was being beaten to death. I attempted to intervene, and that's when I was injured, and that's why I was taken to the Bosford Hospital and treated for a dislocated jaw. I went there under the impression that I was helping Dr. Cipriano pick up his personal belongings. You know, I had a pickup truck. That's why he asked me to give him a ride. The conversation with Mitchell Young was on a collect call from the jail. That call ended abruptly, and we were unable to reconnect. We wanted to ask him if he had any remorse. We never were able to ask him that. We'll be in court tomorrow and hear what he has to say. At the Circuit Court in Oakland County, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. Thank you, Cheryl. 7 Action News has learned that Tucker Cipriano is planning to deliver an emotional statement in court tomorrow. 7 Action News will be there and bring you all the developments on 7 Action News and on WXYZ.com.